Hey everybody, welcome back to 100% Max. So on your casting night, going to this game against Wolves tomorrow down at the Marley News. Half four kickoff, of course, on Sky Sports this time, not box office. Uh, and we're going to this game on the back of a loss against Manchester United at, of course, St James's Park, where we were winning in the game, uh, but then Man United got back into it. If you haven't seen the review for that one, uh, then I suggest you go check it out on the channel. Uh, but we're going to this game against Nuno Espirito Santos's uh, Wolves, and of course they are coming into this one on some pretty good form. Uh, they have won back-to-back -back games in the league uh, by one goal score lines, and of course we currently sit at 13th, having won one and lost one in our past two games. Of course, Wolves sitting, of course, seventh in the Premier League at this moment in time. Now, looking at the players to watch going into this game, uh, for us, it would be Carl Darlow. Now, that would sound crazy uh, in any other uh, scenario, but it is 2020 at the end of the day, and this has been one crazy, crazy year. Uh, and Carl Darlow is putting in some really good performances for Newcastle. Uh, but of course, he picked up a little bit of a knock in the game against Man United. Hopefully, he will be able to uh, play in the game tomorrow against Wolves. Uh, Steve Bruce has been talking about his fitness and he has said that he's feeling a bit better. Uh, he's not feeling as sore now, so he might be able to play in the game tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, he will. Because if he doesn't, then we'll have to go with Mark Gillespie, which isn't a bad thing. Mark Gillespie is a goal, a good goalkeeper, but at the end of the day, he is with third choice goalkeeper. So that would be a big uh, downer heading into the game against a Wolves side that seem in pretty good form at this moment in time, uh, which wouldn't board well for us as we do need to get some wins on the board and start getting them points up if we are wanting to stay away from that relegation scrap. Uh, now, the player to watch for Wolves is none other than Raul Jimenez. He is in absolute fine form. Uh, the, there's nobody else in the Wolves team that you can look at uh, other than the Mexican striker. He has been absolutely sensational so far for Wolves this season. Of course, with them having three goals in the five Premier League matches so far this season. Um, and he will, of course, want to test our defence tomorrow in that game. Uh, and hopefully will be strong enough to keep him from getting a goal in the match. If he does get one, then hopefully you know Newcastle will be able to get uh, the answering goal in we can win the game, hopefully, or at least get something out of this game against Wolves. Uh, but, you know, it's all boarding down to the fact of, you know, Steve Bruce, he's going to have to be more attacking in this game. He was way too defensive in the game against Man United. You know, we went 1-0 up, and then from that moment on, you know, he just sat back and defended, and he allowed the pressure from Man United to build up on it and build up on it until eventually, you know, they scored the goals that they did. Um, and that's something that Steve Bruce has been doing a lot this season. You know, we've went ahead in the games and then he hasn't capitalised on it. He hasn't took the chance to make the team more attacking and go for the game, you know, and he's sat back defensively and it's cost with uh, points here and there in the games. Of course, we're still doing reasonably well. We are 13th in the league at the end of the day, uh, but, you know, when you've got a lead against Man United, you've got to capitalise on that. You've got to go for it, you know, and go for their throats and try and take that win, especially against one of the worst Man United teams in history as well. Um, but it's all down to Steve Bruce. He's going to have to go with some very good attacking uh, tactics, you know, against a very tough Wolves side. Like I say, they ain't going to be messing around. They're going to want to come into this game, you know, at home as well against Wick. And they're going to want to be going into it with all the pressure on Newcastle to pick up them three points in the game. Uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, you know, like, share, subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel grow. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Until next time, I'll see you all later. And how are the lads?